Welcome back. So in this video, we hop inside the dark ether. The catch is we only can use the ether blade. We ended up being able to get out with a ton of scorchers, a ton of wonder weapons, and a ton of great gear. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enjoy. Damn yeah, mods for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. Basically, they go in, they unlock stuff for you, they give you the Borealis and Interstellar camo. You can play in lobbies to complete hard challenges that maybe you just can't complete. They're trusted by thousands of customers. They have very, very, very good reviews with Trustpilot. Make sure you guys go check them out. Link is in the description. You guys can use code SPAZO to save up to $100 off on your order. All right, let's do this run, man. So we only can use an ether blade. I need to get my perks as well. I have some essence. Uh, yeah, I need to get all my perks. So this is only tier four. I like tier four a lot. Um, I'll say if you're not going for schematics, it's the best way to get rare items. Um, I, I feel that way strongly. Let's get our perks. Okay, so we have some items like we don't we have this stuff, but we definitely don't need it um, But we only can use the ether blade to complete the two contracts Obviously, we're not gonna do escort because it is impossible and I mean impossible to do it with just an ether blade So we're not even gonna attempt it, but we got to do two contracts. That is the goal here Outlast is the easiest one. So we're gonna have to hopefully do this one with ease but the Ether Blade is probably the most OP schematic you can possibly unlock in the game. And it might be the hardest because of the Escort. Now, I don't know. Some people might have different opinions on that and say, oh, well, maybe the Red Worm is the hardest. Or maybe this and this and this is the hardest. Which it most likely is to some. But some probably think the Escort is a lot harder. We're just going to keep throwing this for a second. Throw a decoy. There we go. All right, let's stick it. We have a three plate. Give me this. We should be good. Oh my gosh, dude. The freaking mimic pushed me away. We need to hop over. Throw that right there. Give me my ether blade. There we go. I don't know where the mimic went, but we should have enough time. Should be good for right now. There we go. All right, let's get to this next one. These next two will be super easy. Definitely won't be bad. It's not hard once you, like, if you have an ether blade, which people will drop you ether blades all the time, you can just make these runs. A lot of my runs are just ran with an ether blade, so I'm pretty much used to, like, this setup and basically trying to win this side of it. Uh, it's, you know, easier, obviously, with a gun, but it's definitely not bad without one. You just got to kind of come prepared, which it's, it's very simple to find, like, a three-plate vest and, like, a large bag. It's super simple. I'm pretty sure all of us already know the best strats to get those. We're going to chuck that right there. We'll start this one. We shouldn't be going down. We should be good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we about to, though. Okay. We're good. Contract done. There we go, my friend. What's in here? Hmm. Look at all that good gear. I'll take it. Uh, okay. Outlast contract. Time to go way down here. This one is definitely a lot easier than the uh, extractor one, but I'll show you guys my strat whenever I'm using just an ether blade. All right, we should be good. Let me know if you guys wanna see, or let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see on the channel. We definitely uh, can make anything. We have 13 days until season two, so there's not really much to do in game, so it's definitely hard. So if you guys have any uh, problems, you guys wanna see some strats for some things, just let me know. I'll definitely uh, make them. If you guys do want to see, because I have pretty good strats for everything. A lot of the stuff I do, or pretty much everything I do, I do solo. So it's definitely, uh, sometimes it's good to know all the strats in the game, because some might work better for you than others. All right. There we go. Just keep running this route. I like to jump on the last one to the stairs, or the one before the last one. So like say we're coming right here, we're going to jump right here. So the last one before the stairs. Now, I like to say this one's at the stairs, so we jump basically two back. That's the best thing I do, and then we just run up the steps, run around, and then jump two. You can throw your ether blade, whatever you want to do. We're at 55%. Um, but yeah, every time you usually run, so say you run all the way down here, you should have your ether blade by the time you uh, jump. So you'll be able to throw it every time you jump off, which will help you kill zombies a lot. You can throw it wherever you want. Just make sure you throw it in an area where there are zombies. You just don't throw it in a dumb area. Now, if you get blocked like that, you can just run to the other side, hop up, 
and just wait a second and then you can run down and hop back down you can just reset basically the train and it becomes super easy once you get it down for sure we'll just jump over this one throw that and then it gets a little hectic towards like right at the very end but you should be good all right contracts done uh another refined crystal i'll take it we'll drop that uh we don't need any of that okay we have death perception we can check for some wonder weapons real quick why not we don't waste our time that's a wonder weapon what is that the antiques office key okay we're gonna have to hope we can get that um we can check that might not be that building let's run over here is this this building it might be yes there's a wonder weapon in there it looks probably like it's a scorcher maybe a vr 11 i think the first one might be a vr we have the barracks key over here we're going to have to drop, uh, we'll drop this, and then we'll drop the uh, other self-res. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this, the barracks key. Okay, let's hop up real quick. Got a mangler. Uh, where was the barracks? Is this? That's Antiques Office. What is this? Barracks. Scorcher, yeah. Okay. There we go. Free little scorcher case. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, next, I think for the antiques office key, it sometimes spawns at the bottom, but sometimes it spawns up top, so I guess we'll just check up top first. Uh, there's a wonder weapon in here. That's probably a wonder wall. You can tell. Um, you kind of get an idea of what you're going to get by the size of the case. Uh, the VR11 case is much smaller than, say, the Scorcher case, so you'll be able to kind of, like, tell which one you're going to get. You can get VR11s in here. Uh, I've, I've got them a few times. So they're, they're a little bit more rare, but you definitely can get them. So don't think you can't. Uh, it's definitely possible. I don't know if we can make this jump right here. Just give it a second so we don't fail. All right, what is this? Officer's quarters key. Let me jump up here. Can I jump up this? <gasps> oh, dude, that was crazy. Okay, uh, munitions storeroom. I'll just drop that. Uh, next key could be found down here. Let's go ahead and grab it. There's always going to be a set of two. Officer's quarters key. I think that's one I need. Officer's quarters key. No, I, I have one. I don't need that. So we can pick this up, revive back up. Okay. Now there's another key location we can go find. It is at the very bottom. Uh, I think there's another way to get down there. Um, yeah, right here. So you just drop down right here. I'm going to throw this ether blade. Uh, I believe you go out this way. I think you go out this way. Is there a way out over here? Right here, maybe? It's hard to know because it's to the right. It must be this way. Maybe. I don't ever really drop down this way. Um... Yeah, I think it's back here. This is confusing as shit. Uh, there's a rift. That must be the exfil. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Here we go. And then antiques quarters key. Or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, we need to drop... Do I already have that? I don't think so. Antiques court. Yeah, okay. We can drop this self-revive. I doubt we're going to go down. Let's go ahead and grab that, the ABF. All right, since we have both of those, we can hop back up top. We have, we have three keys now, so we can unlock pretty much any door, I believe. Uh, let's see. So first one, I think we can unlock this one in here. I believe we have the key, which is right here. Ray gun. Okay. Now the next key, which is munitions storeroom. And then we have one for the officer's quarters key. So this one, I think it's going to be in here, I believe. Right back here. Is there anything? Munition storeroom key, yes. Yeah. So that's that. And then we have this one, the officer's court. Wait, what? Is that the same? I think so. No. Okay, officer's quarters key, which is up top of here. I believe so. Let's hop up here. Can I hop this? Yes. Okay, nice. All right, so we're going to want to go up to the second level, and then we got to run this. Uh, I think we go around. Here we go. 
uh, Albaga's office quarters key, another scorcher. So that's two scorchers, a ray gun. Okay, that's not bad. It's not a bad run. Where's Xville? Up top. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And then boom, there we go. That's the run, man. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, you definitely can come out with a ton of rare items. Uh, that's everything we found in this raid. In this little <laughs> freaking whatever, however long we've been in here, 10 minutes. I don't know. But that's what we found. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. That is how you do the ether blade only run. It's definitely very simple once you guys can start getting ether blades. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one, boys. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.